and welcome back to another video. I changed up my intro. I don't know. I want something different to say in my videos. I have said for the past two, three years. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Like, thank you. That just sounds so basic, so I don't know. Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. So, for today's video, I decided to do an Ipsy video, and what else is new? I'm behind. I apologize again. I don't know what it is with Ipsy videos. I just always get behind in them, and I honestly just have no excuse. I just, I, I forget about it, and then I just don't do it. But I do them, I just do them late. So I don't know, I just don't have any excuse, I don't have any reasoning. I'm just always late on Ipsy videos. So it's going to be another combined Ipsy video today. We have January and we have February. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So this is my first Ipsy video of 2017. Well, I think I uploaded the other ones from October, it's November, and December, and January. So this is my first, like, 2017 Ipsy bag. I already know what's in everything. Because I ain't waiting that long, so let's just go ahead and I'll show you guys what was inside. First of all, my annual monthly review of the overall bag itself. I really like it. It's like a mesh -like feeling to it and I love the color and it just looks really fancy, honestly. I really like it. I honestly don't remember what was in January. I'll probably remember them once I see them, but for now I, I really don't remember. Oh! Oh yes, see, I already remember. Okay, and no, I'm not trying to act for real. Okay, so I redeemed my Ipsy points thanks to you guys who used my link to sign up for Ipsy, and I hope you guys love Ipsy by the way as much as I do. So I redeemed my Ipsy points for this lime crime, lime crime liquid lipstick, a uh, liquid matte lipstick. I believe this is full size. This is definitely full size. I don't know. I don't know if it is. If it has. In the shade of Blondie. 2.6 milliliters. So I'll look up and put an annotation here that whether or not it's full size, I'll do some research. But nonetheless, I do not own a Lime Crime product. So when I saw this on the redeemable points thing, points tab, whatever, I wanted to get my hands on it and I'm so glad because it sold out really fast. All their products on the points store sell out really fast, and it's really unfortunate. But I'm really glad I could get my hands on this. And like I said, it's in the shade Blondie, so from online it looked different. But it's uh, like a mauve pink. Ooh, it's super metallic-y. Ooh, I'm smelling it because I... Mmm, it smells like vanilla cupcakes. Mmm, that smells so good. I have another swatch on my hand. The big purple one is from a previous video. And then this is, because I'm like pre-filming, uh, surprise, surprise. This metallic -y one right here is Blondie. And I'll try and go ahead and insert a swatch from somebody else as well so that you guys can see it better. But I'm obviously impressed with this product because I knew I was getting it and I redeemed my points for it. So thanks to you guys for this product and my first lime crime product so I'm super excited. This would be dumb to like do a single review on like a single product. I would like to like talk more in depth, try it and let you guys know what I think but I also feel like that video would only be like two or three minutes. I don't know, let me know what you guys think since it is my first lime crime product. Okay, going on to the items that I got from Ipsy that I don't know about that I didn't pick out. The first product that I see here is a product from Pacifica. And this is the bl Blushes Con Coconut and Rose Infused Cheek Color, Universal Universally Flattering. So, I actually saw a picture of this on the Ipsy website and really liked it. I have several eyeshadows from Pacifica that I received in previous Ipsy bags, but this is my first blush. So, first of all, I'm in love with the packaging. Very beautiful, simple, yet chic, which I like. The only thing I'm not a fan of 
is their lids come off super easily on their products. Like, boy, do I like the product, though. Oh, my. This has to be one of my favorite blushes that I own. Oh, my. This is gorgeous. I love it. Um, my hands are kind of full of swatches, so I'll go ahead and insert somebody else's swatch. So, this is, this is gorgeous. I love it. The next product that I have here is a fragrance sample from the brand Notes. I've never heard of this brand before. In the scent, Pink Peony. This was made in the U.S. of A, so that's always good. I'm super picky on fragrances, so we'll see. Nice, generous sample. I like the packaging. Simple and chic. Ooh, wow. I love this. It's like very mature, but yeah, like, I'm terrible at describing scents. I just keep smelling it. Like, I've never smelled anything like this, honestly. Like, it's literally not coming out. Okay, there we go. You just gotta press really, really hard. Mmm, that smells good. I can, I kinda got some on my fingers, so it's already kinda strong, cause I didn't intend to get some on my fingers, but that smells really good. You have to press really hard to get, like, the spray to come out, but it's, it's really, really good. I like this. This is a great Ipsy bag so far. I'm impressed. The next product that I have in my Ipsy bag is by the brand Smashbox. And this is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It's in the shade Light. It's a BB cream. From the swatches that I've seen in other videos, I don't know. I might use it as a concealer. I like the consistency. Unfortunately, it's not enough to use as a BB cream a bunch of times so I might use it as a spot concealer because I don't want to get too used to it because it is Smashbox so it's more expensive so I won't be able to like buy my Estee Lauder foundation and the BB cream so um, I do want to try in the summer maybe to try more BB creams rather than foundations they are lighter but I don't even know if Estee Lauder has a BB cream I don't know. I haven't really looked. But let me know your favorite full coverage BB creams. I know that BB creams aren't supposed to be as full coverage as foundation, but let me know your favorite, like, full coverage as can be BB cream. I think with my, like, redness in my skin tone, though, I would benefit more from a CC cream. Let me know which one you think I would benefit more from. I think, I think I would say CC cream. I don't know. We're just... Getting off topic here. But I am impressed with this. This is a very small sample, but it's Smashbox. So they're obviously not going to put like a full size BB cream in here. That would be amazing, but it's $10 a month. So that would never happen. But I will definitely use it as a spot concealer. This Ipsy portion does seem longer because I did have an extra product since I redeemed points. But the next product that I had to show you guys that I received in my January Ipsy is a full size lipstick by the brand Rimmel London. I think this is supposed to be a lip balm. Yeah, it's definitely a lip balm. I'm impressed though. It feels very moisturizing. And the packaging is simple and chic. The last product that I have to show you guys is a eyeshadow by the brand Naked Cosmetics. I believe this is a loose shadow. I can't tell if this is a loose shadow. I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm gonna save this for a giveaway for you guys. Because honestly, I just don't use these. I'll save them so that they can go to a good home to one of you guys that would love this. So that was everything in my January Ipsy bag. I am totally in love with this month's bag. It was a really great month. In fact, I forgot how great of a month it was. I don't think I... The only product I wasn't a fan of was the Naked Cosmetics Loose Shadow. Only because I just don't use loose shadows. I just don't like them. I think they're messy and I only use pressed shadows so that's just my opinion though. But other than that it was an amazing month and let's see if February can live up to that. Alright so the next month that we have here is of course February. Let's talk about the bag for a few minutes. I have a few comments. I don't like the combination of orange and this blue. Just I feel like it ruins it. I love the denim denim look that it has and I feel like the orange just ruins it. I feel like a nice pink would go with this or a white outline if that's what they were trying to go for but I don't know. I just feel like the orange really ruins it because 
Other than that, I would love this bag because I love like the denim feel to it and the zipper is really cute. It's a pair of lips. So, but the orange, I don't know. I just have never liked orange and blue together. I don't know. And I just think it ruins it. So I think I'm going to sell this bag on Depop maybe. Obviously not the contents of the bag, but the bag itself just because I'm just not a fan. The inside is also orange and fun fact, one of my least favorite colors is orange. I just have never liked it. Alright, so we're starting out with another product that I redeemed for Ipsy Points. Ipsy had a lot of good products, has been having a lot of good products recently and this is a full size Wet n Wild highlighter. So um, I've actually heard a lot of great things about this product. So when I saw it in the Ipsy Points thing, I was really impressed. I want to swatch it and give you my opinions. So I'm going to try and open it quickly. I love Wet n Wild, but I'm not a fan of these sticker things just because it's so difficult to get off. I got it. I got it, guys. So anyways, here's the highlighter prep highlighter and um, I find this really funny because just a couple weeks ago I was getting people that I know um, requests for their favorite highlighters because I've been on the hunt for a good highlighter. So here it is. Ooh, it looks shiny. Wow! Oh my goodness. I love, don't know if you guys can see that, but I love it. So I'll try and go ahead and insert some swatches of somebody else's and of course give credit to them. I don't know how much this retails for either. I don't know, I feel like it's underrated, so I love it. Great product that I redeemed for my Etsy points. And thank you to you guys, because I earn the points by not only reviewing products, but when you guys sign up, to my link. So thank you. Another full-size product. Etsy has been stepping up its game lately. So the next product that I received is a NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is like a dark red. I love their butter lipsticks. Honestly, like, they're so good. My bad, it's not a dark red. It's like a magenta. Way, 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 way different than their packaging. Wow, that was way different than their packaging. I'm not complaining, it was just different than what I expected, but I like it still. So this is in the shade Lifeguard, so I like it. It's, like I said, not what I expected, but I still do really like it. And it's full size, and it's a NYX Butter Lipstick. Win-win. I have so many swatches on my hands. What is this? This box, you guys. By the brand Kenzie. Alright, sorry guys if things look a little bit different. I had to charge my battery because it was dying. I couldn't even, like, get through the rest of the video. So anyways, let's go on and get right back into a February Ipsy bag. So we left off with this little bottle, I think. But it's just one of those mists. But it's just supposed to be refreshing, but it's not coming out. It smells really good. Wow, that is... I don't know what that's supposed to be a... That's not supposed to be a perfume. Mmm, it smells like... It smells like the inside of a mall. That smells so good. I don't know... <coughs> I don't know if you guys can... <coughs> I sprayed it way too many times. I don't know if you guys could see the mist, but... It smells so good. I don't know. This smells like a perfume to me. But I doubt they would they would have given me two perfumes. It might be a, like a facial spray. I'll look it up and let you guys know. But it smells really good regardless. Like, wow, I might have to get the bigger size of whatever this product is because it smells that good. The next product that I pull out of my Ipsy bag is the, is an eyeshadow. Or no, it's a highlighter. It says right here on the back. It says that it's a highlighter. And it's by the brand IBY. Beauty and it's a highlighter. I think I have an eyeshadow from this brand. I don't remember honestly. I really want to know what that Kenzie product is because that smells amazing. I got two highlighters in this bag because I redeemed some points for the Wet n Wild one. Now this one, so I've gotten a lot of highlighters recently, but it's honestly because I've been on the hunt for so many because I before that I only had like one or two and they weren't that good. But here it is. It looks rose gold like. Ooh. <gasps> that is nice. Oh yeah. That is great. Okay. It's in the shade bubbly. So I'll go ahead and link this down below for you guys because you need this. Oh wait, there's another one. Oh my gosh. This is like the best 
ipsy bag ever. This place out through January and that says a lot. The next product that I pulled out of my ipsy bag is a brush. And you guys know I love getting brushes in my ipsy bag. Brushes are expensive and yeah, it is by my favorite brand of brushes. One of my favorite. I like Sigma, Real Techniques, and do I have a Sigma brush? Why do I say so? I I imagine I like your brushes. I have a couple of their products, but I don't think I have any of their brushes. I imagine it would be my favorite. Anyway, my favorite that I have are Real Techniques and Luxie. And this is a Luxie brush, so I'm super excited. It's the blush brush. So I don't have this one, so I'm really excited and grateful to have gotten this in my bag. I feel like I got extra products in this bag, but maybe it's because I redeemed that my points for that highlighter, so it like seemed like more. But the next product that I have is like literally the tiniest sample ever. I feel like I would picture this in a birch box because birch box aren't very generous with their samples that I've seen in unboxings. But I want to try birch box. So let me know if you guys would be interested in a birch box versus Ipsy, but I feel like Ipsy would always win. I don't know, I really want to try Birch Box because I haven't liked what I've seen, but maybe if I see it for myself, I would like it more, I don't know. But this is a bronzer. You guys don't even understand how tiny it is, and it's the Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches Matte Bronzer, but it's literally so tiny that you couldn't even get a bronzer brush in here. That is like ridiculously tiny. I feel like they could have given us a bigger sample at least. I really like it. It's super pigmented and creamy. It's not like creamy but I like it a lot and very pigmented and I like the shade but I couldn't even barely get my bronzer brush in here. So I think maybe I'll just use this as an eyeshadow and then maybe buy the full size because I do like it so that's how they get you, but I just don't, can't even get my bronzer brush in here, but I think honestly, like, this is the best Ipsy that I've ever received, ever. There is not one product in here that I don't love, and I'm just so happy. Like, I love this so, so much. Oh my god. Ah, I love it. Okay. So, uh, this is like 10 out of 10 would recommend. Let me know if you guys got the same Ipsy bag. And if you loved it as much as I did, because uh, I just, well, it's just the best Ipsy ever. Not the bag itself, but the products inside. Like, I've literally never received a better Ipsy, so it's been a great two months, and I'm excited for March. And I really hope it doesn't let me down, because January and February were amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was combined again. I'm having surgery. It's probably, like, days before my surgery, or... I've already had my surgery, I'm having it February 22nd, so I'm not going to be up to filming the March one for a couple weeks after, so I'm not, probably not even until May, what else is new, but this time I have reason. I'm so happy with these bags, so thank you guys so much for watching, definitely subscribe to Ipsy, they've been totally st stepping up their game, but I hope we don't jinx it now, so I hope that March isn't terrible, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.